I welcome you today to our amazing channel. If you're a new subscriber, you are highly welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much. So we are asked to solve this. We are asked to evaluate this. Now, first of all, let's call this X, everything. All right? So we can say let X be equal to the cube root of 1 plus square root of minus 7 plus the cube root of 1 minus square root of minus 7. All right? Now, we can say, let A be equal to this and B be equal to this. I'm going to explain why. So, we can say, let A be equal to cube root of 1 plus square root of minus 7. Okay? Now, if we say that, that means if we cube A, A cube will now be 1 plus square root of minus 7, right? Yeah. And let's call this equation 1. Similarly, if we say let B be equal to the cube root of 1 minus square root of minus 7, all right, then b cubed should be equal to 1 minus square root of minus 7. Yeah. Now, why are we looking for cube and cube? Remember that this is cube root 2. To be able to remove this cube root, we need to cube. Okay, we need to cube A, we need to cube B, right? So, that is the reason why I'm getting A to the power of 3 and B to the power of 3. Now, I'm going to write these, our formula somewhere or our equations because they are very important and i will write them later so that we will be able to look at them while we solve i know you cannot see this but yeah okay written now remember that we said let x be equal to this plus this and we said let a be equal to this and let b be equal to that right so that means that x is equal to a plus b right so let's make that statement so x is equal to a plus b another important equation so i'm going to write it somewhere x is equal to a plus b yeah okay now where am i driving at where am i driving at recall that i said that these are cubed right they are cube roots so i need to cube them if i ever want to get to the value of my x right yeah so that means i'm going to first of all need this if x is equal to a plus b now let's cube let's cube both sides okay so we have x to the power of 3 is equal to a plus b to the power of 3 hmm. amazing right yeah okay now i'm happy all our equations are on this side of the board so i'm not going to touch here i'm not going to erase here i'll just be cleaning this side now let us continue using the law um algebra identity okay a plus b to the power of three is the same thing as a to the power of three plus three a squared b plus 3b squared a okay plus b to the power of 3 yes so if we rearrange this we are going to have a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 plus now they have 3ab in common right so we have 3ab bracket 3a squared b divided by 3ab we give us only one a plus 3b squared a divided by 3ab we give us only one b so this simply means that if we need to get the value of x right we need to get all this mm. amazing now let us start with a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 now a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 let us go back to our equation our equation 1 is 1 plus root 3 root 7 
root minus 7 and our b to the power of 3 is 1 minus root minus 7. So if we say a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 should be equal to 1 plus root 1 plus square root of minus 7, okay, plus 1 minus square root of minus 7. Yeah. So we have a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 is equal to, now plus root minus 7 minus root minus 7 is 0. So you can see that a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 is equal to 1 plus 1, which is 2. Okay, now we have a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3. Another obstacle that we have is 3ab, right? 3ab. All right. Now, let us find 3ab. We need to find ab for us to get 3ab. So, we have a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 is equal to 2. I'm going to write it somewhere because I'm going to clean it later. I know you can't see this. I'm sorry about that. All right. Now, we need our ab, okay? How do we get it? AB simply means, remember that our A is cube root of 1 plus root minus 7, and our B is cube root of 1 minus root minus 7. So AB then should be equal to this one. That is cube root of 1 plus root minus 7. All right? Then multiplied by the cube root of 1 minus root minus 7. <laughs> please click the subscription button, turn on your notification bell if this is the first time you are seeing this amazing face and amazing channel, all right? Turn at your convenience, there must be something new to watch, yeah, by the grace of God. Then give us a thumbs up if you are actually enjoying this video. Turn on your notification bell, it's very important, okay? So that you'll be notified anytime we upload a new video. Thank you. Now, remember, according to the law of so recall what I said, I'll be cleaning here, but don't worry, all the important equations have been written, okay? So, let me clean that, let me clean that, let me clean here. All right, now, we can say, recall that square root of A multiplied by square root of B is equal to square root of AB, according to the law of sod. So, similarly, cube root of A multiplied by cube root of B is equal to cube root of A multiplied by B. All right? Now, since they share the same root, which is cube root and cube root, then we can solve this as... We can solve this as AB is equal to, we are just going to use one cube root to cover both of them. 1 plus root minus 7 and 1 minus root minus 7. Now, if you look at both of them, you will notice that they are conjugate sorts, similar to a uh, difference of two squares. Okay, yeah, according to difference of 2 squared, a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b multiplied by a minus b, right? So this is similar to this. That means we can express this in this form, right? Yeah. So in this case now, our a is 1 and our b is root minus 7. So we can write this as a b is equal to the cube root of 1 squared minus square root of minus 7 squared. Okay? All right. Now we can say AB is equal to the cube root of 1 squared is 1 minus... Now this, we remove this, we have minus 7 again, right? Yeah, so what we have here is this. Like I said, I'm going to clean everything. So 
So now we have AB is equal to the cube root of 1 minus minus is plus. So we have plus 7. Now AB is equal to the cube root of 8. So AB is equal to cube root of 8 is 2. So we have found our AB. Now let me write it somewhere. AB is equal to 2. Recall that this is what we are looking at. That x to the power of 3 is equal to a to the power of 3 plus 3a squared b plus 3b squared a plus b to the power of 3. This is exactly what we are looking at. And we factorize this as a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 plus 3ab multiplied by a plus b. Okay? This is what we are doing. So we have found a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3. We have found a, b. Then we need a plus b. That is it. But remember, we are looking for x. If we are able to get x, this is equal to x. And we already say, let x be equal to a plus b. So at this point, we are good to go. Okay? So it's all about substitution now till we find the value of our x. Okay, I'm done cleaning the board. Now let's copy out what we need. Remember that we are solving that x to the power of 3 is equal to this, right? a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 plus 3ab bracket a plus b. Now it's time for substitution. So x to the power of 3 is equal to uh, a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3. We copied it out and we got 2. So we have 2 plus 3. We also solved that a, b, and we got 2. So remember that we copied it somewhere. Then our a plus b is our x. Mm, okay. <laughs> Interesting. Now we have x to the power of 3 is equal to 2 plus. Now 3 times 2 is 6. So we have 6x. So you can see that we have a cubic equation here. So x to the power of 3, let's transfer this plus 6x to this side. If we do that, plus 6x becomes minus 6x. And plus 2 becomes minus 2. Is equal to 0. Now, you can solve this using so many methods. But the easiest method is the graphical method, which I did. So after drawing the graph, these are the solutions I got. X1 is minus 0 0.34. X2 is minus 2.26, approximately. X3 is 2.60. These are the three values of X when you use your graph. You can still use other methods to find it, but this is the easiest, all right? So just graph this. And you are going to get these values. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.